Right, this is a very quick introduction to making a basic HTML table responsive using CSS. This is not an expert solution, it's a guide to get you going. There are a lot of uh, precious opinions out there about HTML and CSS that some novices find intimidating. Just ignore that crap and try it out for yourself. Make some mistakes and you'll learn a lot. I'm not using any padded cell software, you know, these uh, wraparounds like uh, Bootstrap or Groundwork or the, the Microsoft Enterprise framework for 64-bit responsive... Dis no, not, I'm just, that doesn't exist. But frameworks are good. I use them all the time. It, it also helps to understand the basics before you start to use the shortcuts. And this is the basics. In this example, I'm going to keep everything in one file rather than a separate CSS file, just to keep things simple. Now let's take a look at the table. That's exactly how I wanted it to look, more or less. Now let's take a look at the HTML for that table. Yeah, here it is. It's pretty simple. I've got... Uh, the uh, HTML table tags in there, but some inline and some uh, CSS in the style section to give me a nice font and to center the table. But other than that, it's just uh, HTML. But there's a problem. Going back to the table, look what happens when the screen size is reduced. Yeah, that's that's pretty ugly. Yeah, so, so the font size perhaps ought to reduce and the table could spread itself out a bit more. Now, going back to the HTML, you can see I've styled the table to occupy the center 40% of the screen with 30% margin either side. It looks fine on the desktop here, but I need to adjust as the size adjusts. Now to solve this is very simple. We make the HTML responsive using CSS. Uh, this means ensuring the content occupies the whole screen, and we check the size of the screen we're, we're being viewed on, and use CSS appropriately for that screen. But first we need to decide what happens at what dimensions. Now as you can see here on my browser, I'm using Chrome, I have a useful plugin uh, that on the on the right hand side at the bottom it uh, it shows me uh, the size of the uh, the viewport uh, the plugin is called viewport dimensions in case you want to check it out now I'm going to adjust it now and decide when the table needs to change at what size now here at around 1250 pixels I think the table should probably widen a bit to 50% of the screen with 25% margin on either side and maybe the font size should reduce to around 16 uh, pixels. So let's, let's do that. There are two simple additions required to our HTML. The first is the viewport meta tag at the top that tells us, well, tells the device to fill the screen with the rendered content. And that's it. Voila. Done. Now, down in the style section, we add a thing called a media query and stipulate that all screens up to a maximum size of 1250 pixels should have the following CSS overrides. So we want the table occupying 50% of the width and centered, and we want the uh, font size uh, down to 16 pixels. So let's take a look at that. Excellent. But as we get smaller, it starts to look ugly again. So I'm going to need another breakpoint in, uh, in the CSS to cope with a smaller size. Now let's see where that should be. I reckon around about 800 pixels. Now you can select these with more thought and more rigor, just visit viewportsizes.com for a slightly less interesting experience than watching paint dry, and that'll give you all of the viewport sizes appropriate for different devices. So let's stick with 800 pixels CSS. Here we go. Done. And now we take the font size down to 12 pixels, uh, and I think almost 100% of the width, but let's make it 90%. I don't want the table crashing into the sides of the, of the of the device. Right, let's try that. Ah, great, perfecto mundo. Now let's take a look at it on my smartphone. Horizontal, vertical, whoa, Macarena call. Right, there you have it, a responsive table all done from the ground up without the safety net of a framework. If it's helped, then a thumbs up and a subscribe will be rewarded with warm thoughts about your gratitude.